Planet Dolan. How did a class get all A's on an exam by not taking it? How did dozens of parents pass their kids' notes in a closed exam? From cheats to loopholes, here are 10 of the most outrageous things people have done to pass their exams. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. Passing exams is a big deal in South Korea, where kids as young as 7 go to classes and study upwards of 60 to 70 hours in an average week. So naturally, there are a number of superstitions and methods about passing exams. One of the more popular superstitions is to not shower during exam prep. It's specifically about not washing your hair. The idea behind the superstition is that the shower will wash all the knowledge out of your head. Of course, in Korea, exams are a week-long thing, and some people take that superstition into the study period before exams as well. So after several weeks of this, well, you can imagine. Pretty stanky. Number 9. It's ironic when the best way to cheat a test is to learn a complex communication system to cheat. That is precisely what happened when a group of students all banded together to cheat in their exams. For multiple choice questions, they would tap out the answers to each other by tapping their pencils in Morse code. Other versions of this would have come up, blinking in Morse code, foot tapping, there's even a phone app that will vibrate in Morse code while it's in your pocket. Number 8. There are only so many things you're allowed to bring with you into the exam hall. Pens and pencils, sure. Erasers and other writing implements, of course. Anything more than that, it starts to get iffy. Of course, if you're a woman, you're also allowed to bring a tampon to the exam hall. Because hey, sometimes that time of the month is at the exact time as exams. For when life sucks double hard. But one girl figured out a way to use this loophole to her advantage. She wrote a series of notes on a tampon and brought it into the test with her. She apparently got away with it, although it's hard to imagine nobody getting suspicious of her staring intently at her tampon. Number 7. The rise of new technologies has made it easier than ever to cheat on tests. This is becoming so widespread it's hard to nail down to a single thing. One example comes from a medical college in Thailand. A student wore Google Glass style eyeglasses with spy cameras installed in them. With those, he captured the exam questions and sent them to friends of his who looked up the answers and sent them to his smartwatch. In 2016, approximately one in every four discovered attempts to cheat on a test involved the use of an electronic device. Number 6. You are totally allowed to bring a water bottle into your exams. Obviously, people have found a way to cheat with that as well. Most people who try this simply write notes on the inside of the water bottle label. But there are even more creative ways to make this work. One guy actually printed up a custom false label for his bottle that looked exactly like a regular bottle, except the writing contained notes and answers to his test. So you have to figure he has to at least have a future in graphic design, if not whatever subject he was cheating in. Number 5. Some people try to cheat on their tests by hiding notes or covertly communicating with each other. There's a different school of thought on how to make this happen. Just don't show up at all. Bail on the test, find somebody who looks like you and is way smarter than you to take the test. Oh sure you say, but how practical can it possibly be to cheat via body double? Well, in Haranya, India, over 50 cases of body double cheating were uncovered on recruitment tests for government jobs. And that was just in 2009. It is suspected that this has been going on for years, and the total number of cheaters may be in the thousands. Number 4. For those people in India who do actually show up for their exams, there are some ways to still get away with cheating. Ask your parents, because apparently parents in India will become a Spider-Man to deliver notes to their kids. This isn't just one or two instances, it looks like half the school turned out to scale the building and pass their kids' cheat sheets through the window. As you might expect, somebody noticed, and it became a huge scandal. Number 3. A law student entered her exam with a textbook, which was allowed. What wasn't allowed was the 24 pages worth of notes written in invisible ink. She wrote the notes in invisible ink, then affixed a UV light to her pen so she could read them. She was caught and immediately failed the test. She appealed the ruling saying she was treated unfairly. Naturally, she lost that appeal. Number 2. Grading on a true curve means it's a tricky business. It means that the highest score on an exam or assignment gets an A and grades are just downward from there. So what happens if everyone gets the exact same score? And what if that score is zero? That was the experiment tried at Johns Hopkins University, in which a professor who used the true curve found one of his exams boycotted entirely. The students showed up for the exam and waited outside, refusing to take it. And it worked! The professor gave the entire class an A on the test, but he amended his grading policy the next semester. Now it says, if everyone scores zero points, everyone gets zero percent. Number 1. 
There's cheating on a test, then there's just looking past the test and hacking the grade itself. That's what 11 students tried to do in Newport Beach, California by installing a keylogger on a teacher's computer. The goal was basically to install a keylogger on the computer to get the login credentials and change students' grades in the system. That way, even if the students fail their tests, they could just change it so it looked like they didn't. A 28-year-old tutor in the area was accused of being the ringleader, and a search of his apartment turned up spy cameras, key loggers, and a bunch of electronics even police couldn't identify. So guys, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to pass a test? Let us know in the comment section down below, we'll pin our favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!